Hey, good afternoon, beauty bosses. This is Felita Daniel Lee, direct sales leader with New Avon LLC. I'm coming out to you today. I wanted to talk to you about something so important that is just generally not discussed in business at all. You know, most of the time when you join a business, when you join a company, or if you start a business, the, the last thing that's on your mind is record keeping. OK, the last thing is on your mind is really record keeping. Now, although record keeping can be a very, very daunting task, it's a very important task that you must make sure that you are keeping records. You are keeping good records for your business so that you can make sure that you are in compliance with the Internal Revenue Service. So I'm going to talk to you today and share with you some important, valuable information as to the reason why it's important to keep good records. OK, now, as I mentioned earlier, the IRS requires all business owners to keep good records. OK, keeping good records will help you, number one, monitor the progress of your business. You need to know where you are at all times in your business. You need to know whether or not you're making profit or you're constantly, you know, losing. And we all know that if you're constantly losing and if you're if you're always in the negative, then we know that, you know, it's time to kind of take analyze things and take a look at things and make some decisions. But no matter what type of business that you are in, understand that all businesses take time to progress. Most people start businesses and they want to see a huge profit right away and that it, it just does not happen that way it building a business takes time most of the time in most businesses it'll take you a couple of years before you actually really start to turn a profit now sometimes it can take a little bit um the you know the curve could be a little bit shorter but it all depends on your skill level and where you are um, as far as your skill level is concerned so keeping good records helps you to monitor the progress of your business it also increased the likelihood of your business success okay it also helps you to prepare your financial statements your profit and loss or your income statements and balance sheet now you might be asking the question what exactly is an income statement and what exactly is a balance sheet well an income statement shows the income and the expenses of the business for a given period of time and a balance sheet shows the assets the liabilities and your equity in the business on a given date. Okay, now these statements can help you when dealing with banks and creditors. Now, just to give you an example, when I bought my vehicle several years ago, when I went in to the car dealership, um, I had to produce documentation on my income. Now, at that time, and, and whether or not you're trying to buy a home or buy a car or whatever it may be, you're going to have to provide a statement to the bank and to the creditors. Now, this helps them to understand exactly what you're working with and how much money you actually have so that they can make a determination as to how much credit that they can actually extend to you. OK, so that's the reason why it's important for you to make sure that you have um, an income statement. Now, when I was purchasing my car, I had to provide this documentation. I had to have this. I had to basically sh provide my bank statement at the time and I had to show them because I didn't have this system at the time and I wish that I had this system at the time. But you're going to have to be able to produce documentation to show the, the banks or the creditors exactly where you are in your business. Otherwise, they they won't do business with you because you can't provide any documentation of where your income is. Another reason why you must keep good records is because you're going to be receiving money from your customers, your clients, your company, or your distributor. You're going to be receiving money from these people. OK, so your records can identify the source of all of your receipts. OK, you need this information to separate business from non-business receipts and taxable from non-taxable income. 
okay now another reason why is because you need to keep track of all of your deductible expenses you know we all know um, that you know as a business owner we actually have quite a few deductions there are actually over 475 um, tax deductions that you can qualify for as a business owner However, if you are not knowledgeable and you have not educated yourself on that, then of course you won't be able to, um, you know, you won't be able to use them. Okay. So when you are keeping track of all of your deductible expenses, you may forget what your expenses are when you prepare your tax return, unless you record them when they occur. So that's another reason why it's important to make sure that you are keeping good records. Okay. Now, when you prepare your tax returns, you need to keep you need to have good records to prepare your tax returns now these records must support the income the expenses and the credit that you report okay now generally these are the same records that you use to monitor your business and prepare your financial statements okay now support items are reported on your tax returns now you must keep your business records available at all times for inspection by the Internal Revenue Service now anytime you are using your business um, you know you are on your you're using your business on your tax return you must make sure that you are compliant by keeping good records you've got to have documentation of all of your receipts and everything that you have uh, received as far as income and also all of your expenses that are necessary for your business okay so in other words if the Internal Revenue Service um, audits you you need to be able to have available all of this documentation okay now if the IRS does examine any of your tax returns you may be asked to explain the items that are reported okay um, it also helps by um, keeping good records and it will also help speed up the examination so therefore if you go in if you're audited and you go in and you take all of your documentation in you will basically be in compliant when you've got everything organized you want to make sure that your financial records are in order now I want to encourage you to go to this website go to www.irs.gov and download publication number 583 okay it's called starting a business and keeping good records now as I mentioned a lot of people don't like to mention this um, but this is so important this is the documentation here um, a lot of times again we start businesses but we don't really understand and know what it is that we need to be keeping good records on so that's why you want to make sure you download this publication at the irs.gov website so that you can educate yourself on um, you know all of the information that you need to know about keeping good records okay alright so that is that so let me move on now most of the time I know when I first started business this was my old way of keeping records I used to keep file folders labeled it from January through December and I kept all of my receipts in those file folders and then sometimes this is what my desk looked like I had a box full of receipts that I just never actually recorded I absolutely hated tax time because I just was not good at keeping good records so that's why I wanted to do this video because I recognize that this is just something that we are never trained on as business owners okay you are expected to know this information and find out this information on your own okay so my old way of keeping records I used to use a spreadsheet just like this but unfortunately I did not know how to formulate I didn't know the formulas to uh, use so that it could give me a bird's eye view of my financial records where I was I, I just didn't understand how to actually formulate all of the numbers but basically I took this printout sheet to my tax professional every every single year and um, this is what I use 
it was a headache and that's why i absolutely hated doing my taxes every single year because it was such a daunting task now i'm sure that you probably have been going through some of the the similar some of the some similar things that i've been going through i had been going through as well but i wanted to show you a new way a powerful system on how to keep good records okay it's called the cash flow manager software now i started using this software at the end of last year and i was able to use it for my taxes this year and i was absolutely blown away more than anything it's helping me now to be more conscious about where i am financially and to document my records right away so i don't have to worry about when i get home i've got to sit down and i've got to do that now this system comes with um you know software an app that you can actually put on your phone and keep track of everything okay it has um the cash flow manager it has the cash flow strategist and it has, also has financial tools and everything that you need to keep your business and your personal life your financial life in order okay so the beauty of this particular system I want to tell you about all of the features and all of the benefits as to the reason why you want to use this cash flow manager system first of all it tracks multiple businesses in one account okay now I have a couple of businesses actually I have three businesses okay and you can keep track of all of your businesses and also your personal um, financial records you can keep track of everything all under one umbrella so it doesn't matter how many businesses that you have everything is done all under this one cash flow manager system it also helps to eliminate boxes of receipts so if you're tired of constantly looking at all of those receipts all you have to do is number one go in to your cash flow manager app take a picture if you're out and about and you're let's say for instance you're at office depot and you're buying supplies office supplies for your business so you take a picture of the receipt while you're out go in and key in that entry right there in the car i absolutely love it okay so it captures your and stores your um your receipts online if they're stored in a cloud so therefore you don't have to worry about keeping all of all of those receipts now me personally i keep all receipts for at least 30 days because of course if i needed to return anything i've got a record of that receipt so i keep that for at least 30 days it also customizes your income and your expenses so depending on where the income is coming from you can go in and customize it if you have specific expenses that that are not already pre preset in the system you can go in there and customize it okay you can print your financial statement your profit and loss or your balance sheet so again if you're dealing with banks and creditors you can go in and print out your balance sheet and you can produce your financial uh, records right there to the bank and the creditor another thing that i love the most is that the monthly subscription is tax deductible absolutely love that okay it also has a gps mileage tracker to simplify your travel deductions so when you when you first get in your car you don't have to worry about the little i used to use a notebook <laughs> you don't have to worry about that anymore all you have to do is pick up your phone open up your cash flow manager app and it tracks all of your business mileage okay again as i mentioned earlier it has a preset and customizable income and expense category so you can customize everything and tailor it to your own to your business it also has a recurring entry feature to minimize your work so let's just say for instance you know that your cell phone is fifty dollars every single month all you have to do is go in and key in that one entry set it as a recurring feature so that it populates every single month and ask you to confirm that entry powerful 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 system now best of all the cash flow manager software system works together with your desktop device and your mobile app 
okay so you can install the mobile app on your phone and you can easily track your income and your expenses on the go and later you can log into the cash flow manager website you can view and edit your logged in your logged data you can also go in and log in and print out your profit and loss or your balance sheet so now I want to take an opportunity and just kind of show you around the system so that you can see how powerful the cash flow manager system actually is now you can see here I have all of my businesses plus I have my personal account information listed here okay so you can go in all you would have to do is go in and create a new cash flow manager so let's say for instance you wanted to call your business um, whatever your whatever your business is let's just say for instance we're gonna call this um, um, beauty beauty business okay and we're gonna save this file okay so all we would have to do is go in right here click right here to enter a, a expense so all you have to do is click right here on the expense type and you can see here in the expense type that there are all these different categories listed here that you can key in the expense so let's say for instance we went to the post office and we bought some um, some stamps for our business okay and we spent $35 okay who did you spend that where did you spend that okay and that was to the USPS okay what was it for postage stamps okay now where was it in Atlanta okay any specific notes that you'd like to indicate here all you have to do is just indicate what those notes are now here is where you want to upload your receipt so all you have to do is click on this the the, the image there go down and find your receipt and all you have to do is upload it and you'll see here that the receipt is already here so how many miles did you go to the post office so all you have to do is if you had already used your tracker your GPS tracker in your app the app automatically tracked all of your mileage or you can go in here on your desktop and and key it in manually okay and this is where you set up your recurring um, transactions so depending on what you have that's consistently uh, being drafted from your account or what you have as a recurring expense every month all you have to do is go here to set that up you can see here that you can set it up as a weekly occurrence a bi-weekly occurrence a monthly occurrence a quarterly occurrence or an annual occurrence that's just how simple it is and all you have to do is click right here and indicate the date in which you want the next uh, recurrence to uh, populate so we're going to go right here and we're going to save this entry because we just indicated what uh, that particular expense so now we're going to go in and we're going to indicate income we're going to report that we earned some income okay so all you have to do is go right here select your income type okay if it's commissions or if it's interest or you can go right here and create a custom income type so let's just say for instance um, you had um, we're gonna create a new custom type okay so I'm gonna cl click right here to create new and I'm going to call this um, ABC company okay and then I'm going to save it okay so once I save that entry I'm gonna go back to my dashboard okay and I'm going to go into my income area here okay and I'm going to key in um, and select the type this the type is ABC company okay on today's date let's say for instance I received two hundred dollars commissions today okay who was it made to it was made to me Felita Danieli okay what was it for I'm just gonna say leadership commission okay where I'll just say right here online okay if there are any notes that you want to indicate here you can indicate them there now if you have a copy of a check 
you can take a, a picture on uh, of the actual check and then upload the file or if it's automatically deposited into your bank account just type in under the notes section C bank statement which will indicate and, and help to remind you or whoever's looking at that entry just look at the bank statement you can put like the month for the bank statement or whatever it might be okay so now what I want to show you is the profit and loss statement I want to show you the balance sheet so you'll see here right here you see where I entered in the postage cost here you see a copy of the receipt right here this is one powerful system you don't even have to worry about keeping all of those boxes of receipts any longer because all of your receipts are actually stored in the cloud so if you are ever audited by the Internal Revenue Service all you have to do is go in and print out your printable view and take it to you to uh, the IRS if you're ever you know if you're ever audited or if you ever is called in by the IRS so all you have to do is print that out okay now I want to show you the profit and loss statement this profit and loss statement is so powerful it really helps you to see exactly where you are in business this is the, the, the statement your financial statement that you will take to your financial uh, your your tax professional or your accountant you'll see here that all of your income is listed here at the top you'll see down here all of your expenses are listed down here at the at the bottom now this is of course is only I just this is like a demo that I did here you'll see here that all of the expenses that were recorded are listed here this was the income for May and June these are the expenses right here from January up until May I didn't include anything from for June because this is like I said this is my demo account but you can see down here at the bottom where it says net cash flow there's a net cash flow in the negative one hundred and thirty one dollars and sixty cent which means that the expenses for this particular business is currently outweighing the income so your expenses are cost is costing you more to operate this business than what you're actually bringing in now this is not always a bad thing because in business it's it can be up and down it can fluctuate some months you're up and then some months you're down so it can fluctuate from month to month but at least by looking at this this profit and loss this balance sheet you can actually go in and make some adjustments in your business so you maybe need to cut back on something maybe you need to cut back on some of the things that you're spending on on some of the expenses and maybe make a decision you need you know you may need to service more customers or you need to get more clients to increase the income so that you can make sure that you are in profit mode and that's what I love the most about this powerful system that it has everything that you need so it'll give you an, a bird's eye view from January through December the entire year what your income is for each month and what your expenses were for every month when I did this system it I'm telling you I was just blown away to see exactly where I was with my financials and one thing you always want to make sure that you are doing you are on top of your money you don't want to play around with your money you want to make sure that you know exactly where you are in your business okay now you will have an opportunity I am offering you an opportunity to uh, use this cash flow manager system free for seven days I'm giving you the opportunity to take advantage of a seven-day trial so that you can see exactly how powerful this system actually is you can go in and start keying in um, your income what your expenses are so that you can actually get a bird's eye view of where you are okay so all you'll need to do is just click on the link in the description look at the bottom of this video in the description click on that link and you can sign up for this seven day free trial now I do need to mention to you that I am affiliated with this company as a matter of fact this is one of my businesses okay now should you decide to keep this cash flow manager software 
All you have to do is just pay a monthly subscription of $10.95 a month. And again, your $10.95 per month is tax deductible. That's just how powerful this system is. So if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to leave them for me in the comment box. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Now, I don't know everything. I don't claim to be a tax uh, professional as I am not a tax professional. But since I have started using this cash flow manager system, I am feeling much more comfortable, confident about my finances, both in my personal life and also in my home life, because I'm able to now get a bird's eye view of where my money is going. If you don't know where your money is going, then you'll never be able to reach any of your financial goals. So that's why it's important to make sure that you have a system to keep you on track and to help you to see exactly where you are so that you can make good financial decisions. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video. If you like this video and if you like this information that I shared with you, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. You know how I love those thumbs up. And also, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please be sure to click on the subscribe button so that you can get updates when I upload new videos. Okay, so I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Video. I know that it was a little bit longer than most of my videos, but it was so much valuable information. I had to share all of this information with you. Okay. So again, thank you so much for watching. And until the next time, take care, take charge, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.